Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Let me apologize for the lack of videos I've had lately. Um, these past few weeks have been kind of hectic and other priorities going on, so I haven't actually got around to play this game and that means it's been like a couple weeks since I haven't actually played this game. So to say at least I don't know exactly what happened, I believe we just finished off the first day of court and, like, the big thing was, apparently, um, Mayor Tenma is, like, possessed by Tenma Taro or something, so, we got something else going on about that. So, let's, uh, talk to Albright here, I mean, Fulbright, and, uh, see what he has to talk to us about. I can't believe Prosecutor Blackwell would stoop that law, Let wait, stoop that low, what the hell's wrong with me? I mean, to pinning the blame on a yokai? He really wants conviction at all costs. She could give a yokai a run for its money when she's mad. Oh well, yes, well, I have been writing a self-reflective essay as we speak. I I doubt that I'll teach him anything. Yeah, he'll probably just write dotard a uh, uh, dotard a thousand times. That whole yokai business is most likely a play to uh, win a conviction. Truth is, Prosecutor Blackwell believes a Jinxie Tenma planned that yokai stuff. Planted in an effort to protect her father, the real killer. Yeah, right. I'd like to see him prove it. Whoa, calm down. He doesn't have any direct evidence, but we did find this. He was at the base of the cliff just outside of uh, QB Manor. QB Manor, whatever. Wait. That isn't a staff Tamatara was supposed to carrying, is it? Not the one and only! Oh yeah, and this Tema no doubt tossed over a cliff when she was done. No way! Well, what about Prince? Nope, no Prince, but if she was wearing a costume, that wouldn't be- there wouldn't be any anyway. Well, Prince or no Prince, it's not going to work in our favor. Sounds like a staff might have belonged to the mansion. But if that's the case, then where in the mansion did Tamataro get it from? Hmm, I wonder. Did Prosecutor Blackwell figure out that the victim was the, the Amazing Ninetales? He did indeed! He's a sharp one, alright. He figured it out while investigating the municipal merger in the victim's past. The Amazing Ninetales sparked the Okai craze and worked against the merger! And Mayor Damien Tenma is a corrupt politician who murdered that great hero. The Amazing Nine Tails fans are so angry they even tried to storm the detention center. I don't blame them. I mean, their favorite masked wrestling hero was murdered. They must have been shocked when they found out what happened. Speaking of which, isn't Jinxie also a fan of the Amazing Nine Tails? Uh, yeah, a wrestler's mask is more precious than his own life. He never unmasked himself in front of the others. There are matches where wrestlers battle for the right to remove each other's masks. Okay. To have your mask torn off is the worst simulation a wrestler could suffer. Your masks are more important to them than life itself. She spoke with passion that only a fan could appreciate. We ought to become fans ourselves and go and protest in front of the prison. What? No! Did you forget that Mayor Tenma's not only Jinxie's father but our client? Oh, yeah. You be careful now. You're defending the most hated mayor in history. I just hope you don't find yourself on the wrong end of a figure four leg lock. Maybe I should wear a mask to hide my identity. Are there any other new developments we should know? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, our suspect is suffering a partial memory loss, but he did manage to remember something. He did? What did he say? He said he didn't want to speak with us. His exact words were, I am under no obligation to speak with you mortals. And other things of that nature. I wonder what Mayor Tema remembered. Too bad you can't go ask him now, because Prosecutor Black was busy questioning him. Yeah, I know. Why don't you wait down on the playground with the rest of the kids? <laughs> what now, Apollo? How about regrouping back at the agency? Good idea. We might get some words out of, of wisdom out of Mr. Wright. Also, uh, uh, we might get some words of wisdom out of Mr. Wright while we're there. I can't speak. Nothing else. 
Okay, so, uh, yep, let's go ahead and move out. Uh, actually, what, what, what can I go to again? Oh, man, I, I really got, uh, you know, I was, I was kind of making fun, like, oh, how come they have, like, um, the notes for the game, or, um, you know, what's going on? This is exactly the reason. If you stop playing the game, then, like I did, then, yeah, you're gonna get confused on some facts. But I think I'll be okay. I never really took a nice look around the agency. I got some pretty neat stuff. Maybe I'll go read over some past cases. And I'll um, go do some research on exorcisms. Hey, what's with you guys? You seem bummed out. Oh, how should I put this? It's like we're at the edge of a cliff and the only way is down. In other words, business as usual, right? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Except this time, it's like we're bound and gagged, too. Don't forget blindfold with our ears plugged up. Oh, and monsters at every turn, huh? Sounds rough. Hey, Apollo. Oh, and Athena's here, too. Mr. Wright! How goes the investigation, Apollo? Athena? I think it's safe to, safe to say that things have gotten hairier than before. Really? What happened? Well, I'll talk to you about it. I was watching the two of you this morning from the gallery. That was one tough day in court, to say the least. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with Phoenix? Uh... <laughs> I know, I've, had, I've never had to defend a yokai before. That business about the locked room was another major hurdle. Yeah, and on top of that, Jinxie was accused of being an accomplice! But at least you figured out how someone could have escaped the Forbidden Chamber. Yeah, well, we, we just found out that our reason might be a tad... flawed. Oh? Really? Well, that's, uh, bad news. How are we gonna get out of this one? We always find a way. The worst of times are when warriors have to force their biggest smiles. Force? Smile? Yeah. My mentor taught me that back when I was still learning the trade. <laughs> Don't make me remember sad stuff, Phoenix. She, uh... Also taught me to return to the basics whenever I got stuck. Return to the basics? That's right. Always believe in your client no matter what happens. That is a lawyer's greatest and most trusted weapon. The basics. Always believe in your client, huh? So, Mr. Wright, how long have you known Athena? Oh, I met her during a trip to Europe. Huh? You were in Europe? Why haven't I been heard about this before? Yeah, I went there a few times to study the various legal systems over there. Oh, okay. Uh, wait a minute. I thought you worked as a pianist after you quit practicing law. I did, but an old friend of mine needed help with some legal work from time to time, so... Oh, I guess you were never very far from the courtroom then. I wonder who his friend could be. It was like fate brought us together. It's thanks to Mr. Wright I became a lawyer at all. <laughs> I knew she was lawyer material from the moment I met her, and I have high hopes for her ability to analyze people's emotions. Oh, it's nothing special. Look at that face. Hmm. Maybe I've underestimated that analytical psychology of hers. It's just, I thought if my special ability could help defend innocent people, then I have I had to do everything in my power to bring it to the courtroom. That's when I really started hating the books hard. I'm so amazed she actually became a lawyer. At a tender age of 18, no less. Wow, that's almost superhuman. Or personal, like she try like she's trying to help somebody she knows. All right, I'm totally pumped up after ta talking, Mr. Wright. It's like you said, the worst of times are when lawyers had to force their biggest smiles. And don't forget to return to the basics whenever you get stuck. Keep believing in my in my client. Right. Um, Mr. Wright. Yes. I'm. I'm gonna go visit our client again. I think that's a good idea. All right, time to see what's new down at the detention center. All right. Like Phoenix said, it's a good idea. Besides, what else are we going to do now anyway, you know? 
Is he gonna be Tenmatara right now, or is he gonna be his normal self? Mayor Tenma, we wanted to talk to you about something. Kaka! Oh! Ka 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 ka! <laughs> Can't do that with a straight face. So, my minions have returned. Oh, Apollo, he still thinks he's a yokai. I wonder if we'll ever be able to talk to Mayor Tenma again. Silence, peddler of the legal trade. Free, uh, free me from these imprisoning walls with great haste. Wow, he's sounding more and more like a real demon with every sentence. I'm starting to wonder if we should even be helping him win his freedom. Still, we can't let Mayor, we can't let Mayor Tema stay possessed. You know what I mean. If you can clear me these charges, I shall help in whatever manner I may. Now ask me, ask me what you will. I suppose it's worth a shot. What are you doing? He's like, never mind. Let's go ahead and speak with him. Were those feathers and tracks that seen the crime really your doing? Indeed, the remnants of Tema Taro, King of the Unworld, they be. The day when I once again dominate the mortal world is at hand. Ka 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 ka! Dear Lord, uh, the prosecution claims the feathers and or and tracks were planted by Jinxie. What's this? I must breach these walls and go defend my little Jinxie at once. Huh? Mayor Tema, is that you? Girl, well now, Damien appears to still reside within this body. But I should still, I should have expected much from a descendant of mine. Be silent now, Damien. I guess a little thing like demonic possession won't stop, won't stop a father's love for his daughter. You didn't kill Alderman Kubi, did you? I've killed no one. The remnants of my presence have been misconstrued. Uh, the murder is not I. For if I had slain that mortal. Raging health, I would have consumed them, leaving not by the ash. Yikes! Okay, so... So, you're saying... There... There must have been somebody else, then. Come to think of it, the mayor had mentioned that they'd been... That they, he had been clubbed with his statue. I better ask him about this, too. Detective Fulbright mentioned that you might have something new to tell me. Indeed, I have. I regurgitated his key about a, about a short while ago. Behold, the key to the Forbidden Chamber. Whoa! Is regurgitation one of your demonic powers too? Bah! I did not waste my powers on such parlor tricks. Take the key from the killer. Uh, take the key from the killer, dead Damien. Whereupon he swallowed it. He sought to bar the killer entry to the Forbidden cha Chamber. So he wanted to keep it shut tight. But no fingerprints shall you find upon that key. How do you know about that? Wait, is that another one of your demonic powers then? Foolish mortal, you would have me, Ten Mataro, act like as some asinine alch alchemist? I but asked a jailer, and my will was done. Quite eagerly, I must add. Ka 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 ka! Always an honor to serve your malevolence. I guess I'm not the only one he scares the living daylights out of. Um. Can we ask how you use this key? We couldn't find a keyhole anywhere in or around the door. Curse that infernal door. But if I had known it's a matter of opening long, long ago, I would have made my return. He has a point there. Maybe Jinxie knows something about how the whole thing works. Okay. Um, well, he didn't mention we should also bring up that statue. Let's, uh... Let's show it to him. Wherever it's at. Oh, here it is. Oh, nope. Here we go. What? Might I ask, is that? The statue was found to scene. Someone hit Mayor Tema over the head with it. It had been wrapped in a large cloth before the Alderman's murder. Let me see whether Damien knows about such a thing. Hmm. Yes. Something wrapped in just such a cloth does he recall. A secret gift from Alderman Kubi, it would seem. He, however, had not a chance to see it until now, for the cloth did conceal it. Maybe the cloth fell over or it was removed after Mayor was struck. Hmm. Of that, Damien does not know. Secret gift? Interesting. Maybe Jinxie knows something about it. 
I should question him about the blackmail letter, too. Let's see what he says when I show it to him. Okay. To the blackmail letter. Wait, this isn't it. Here it is. Why this? This is that cursed blackmail letter that was sent to Damien. Apparently somebody slipped it into the alderman's po pocket. We believe someone, a private killer, stole it from Mayor Tenma's briefcase. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Ka 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 ka! You have questions, do you? Very well, ask away, more. Okay. Yeah. Who placed this in the alderman's pocket? Hmm. Very few were they were they who knew the letter was in Damien's briefcase. So whoever knew about the blackmail letter being in the, being in the mayor's briefcase is a potential suspect in the theft and placement in the alderman's pocket. Ah, could it have been his doing, Mr. Mayor? Um, I mean, Mr. Taro, did you just remember something? Indeed, I did. There was one. There was but one other who knew that letter, Damien's aide, Florence Lapel. Full knowledge of that briefcase's contents did that aide possess. Then he may be the blackmailer and the murderer we're looking for. That's preposterous. He's a most trusted advisor. He would never betray Damien. It seems like Mayor Tema's a bit too trusting of those around him. Still, this is huge. Now we know who might have slipped that blackmail letter into the alderman's pocket. Look out, Soren LaBelle. Here comes justice. Let's go find LaBelle and ra rake over him in the coals. Rake him over the coals. Thanks for the help. You've just given us a major lead. Alright. Highly likely it's going to be uh, LaBelle. Who knows, though? Hmm. There's something that still bothers me. If Mayor LaBelle, if Mr. LaBelle is the killer, what could have motivated him to open a forbidden chamber? We should probably search for, for search it for clues. Only one problem. How do we open a locked door that doesn't even have a keyhole? Let's go talk to Jinxie. Maybe she can help. Where is Jinxie, though? He has nothing else to say. Okay. Um. I. Well, she's gonna be here somewhere. Let's, uh. Just start the lane, and then we'll move up from there. Because I guess she can be anywhere. Seems like we're going to have an event going on right here. Hey, isn't that... Oh. Is something wrong with her? Uh, you dare imprison me? Jinxie! She's acting really strange. It's kind of creepy, actually. That low sub no good nine tailed fox. You shall know the terror that is mine in despair. You shall pay all oh, you shall pay dearly. All of you. Jinxie, are you alright? Uh, ah! Oh, is that you, Mr. Demon Lawyer? Uh, morning, Jinxie. Morning? Is it already past noon? And what am I doing here? Last I remember, I lay, I lay down to take a nap back at the manor. Oh no! It must have been the... That? Makura ga, ga, Makuragashi? I think I got that one right. Makuragashi? Ever wake after... Ever wake after rest of night sleep to find your pillow in an unusual place? Or that you've been sleeping on that on the floor or in the hallway? Well, it's that Yokai's fault. The Makuragashi preys on people who are while they're asleep. It sounds like you just need to be tucked in really tight, or maybe a snug sleeping bag. Jinxie, how come you don't have any charms on your forehead? I don't. Oh, they must have fallen off. Without them, evil things could creep into me. I'd say we had more than adequate de adequate demonstration of that just now. I better reapply them. Oh, there you go. Jinxie, there's something we wanted to ask you. Oh, there was something I wanted to tell you, too. I... I remember something else. You did? What was it? Hmm. Do I want to continue now? Yeah, it's been a while since I posted a video. Let's go ahead and see what she has to say. Jinxie, can you tell us what you remembered? Well, 
After a trial, I remembered lots of stuff. But there was one thing I thought was really weird. I was afraid to ask, but here it goes. Really? What? Um, it's about the Okai feathers and tracks. They weren't there when I first opened the door. Wait, what? Are you sure? Uh-huh. My memory is crystal clear now. So you're saying that they were left at the, at the uh, they were left at the crime scene after you found it? This could spell major trouble, Apollo. Why? Because Jinx is already accused of leaving the feathers and tracks at the scene. If they weren't there when she discovered the crime scene, it will totally fuel the claim that she fabricated the evidence later on. Yeah. Jinxie's fuzzy memory of the whole incident is really working against us. The prosecution will probably say that she doesn't remember planting the evidence. Good luck rebuting that! Oh man, this is not good. I sure hope she didn't plant the evidence while she was sleepwalking or something. Did I say rebuting or rebutting? You know what I mean. Jinxie, you wouldn't happen to know how to open a forbidden chamber, would you? That door doesn't even have a keyhole. Well, it's supposed to have a secret mechanism. They say you have to figure it out before the keyhole uh, before a keyhole will appear. A secret mechanism? Really? Uh-huh. It's hidden in the fox chamber. But only Alderman Kyuubi knew that knew what it was and, and how it worked. The Elderman of Ninetalesville sure loves his secrets. Apollo, let's go see if we can find that secret mechanism. Whoa, slow down! There's something else I need to ask about. Jinxie, is there only one key to the Forbidden Chamber? Uh-huh. Even the ma Manor's Master Key won't open it. That's because it's a very special room. That must never be opened. I guess that means nobody entered the Forbidden Chamber after a murder. After all, we know Mayor Tema took the key from the killer and swallowed it, so... So the Mayor's efforts to keep the killer out of the Forbidden Chamber... ...were not in vain! Hmm... So... There's only one There's only one of them, that's it. Can't use it anywhere else. See, look at the key from here, it looks like it's kind of like... It looks like a... Where am I trying to use? Not a prong, or is, it, is that what I'm trying to say? Kind of like a tuning fork? Because it has, like, two open ends there, you know? I think you guys understand what I'm talking about. And I guess that's all we can speak to her about. And I guess it's a good place to stop the episode. And I guess in the next episode, we'll, uh... We'll move to the Forbidden Chamber, see if we can find anything around there. Or maybe we can go around and see what else we can learn. We'll make some progress, I promise. And once again, I do apologize for the lack of videos. Um, as mentioned before, just... Very hectic uh, few weeks. Um, it's been a long time since so I actually can get to sit down and record anything. So it feels good to be back, and hopefully I can get back in the groove of things. So I asked, uh, I just simply asked you guys to just be patient with me, you know. <laughs> uh, but in any case, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. See you guys later.